Hey guys, so before I get into what I want to talk about for this video, I just want to apologise for the fact that my head is in frame for like the entirety of the video. Um, there are points where my head is just completely blocking the painting. I don't know how I didn't realise this throughout the entire time I was painting it, but I've had to cut bits out and stuff and I thought about just scrapping it, but then I thought, why waste the footage? I spent all this time filming it, let me just make a video. Anyway. So I thought I'd talk about something that a lot of artists go through and I know that a lot of artists go through it because there are so many other videos of other people talking about this on YouTube which I think is really important because when you feel like you're alone in this it's really hard. It's basically you hating your art, you not liking your art which is definitely something that I struggle with. I think it's something that it just kind of is part of the package when you're doing something creative like if you're writing music or if you're acting or anything in the creative field because it's such a subjective thing you tend to doubt yourself a lot there is no one way to do it right so you're constantly thinking am i am i doing something wrong am i creating something that people actually like am i just looking like an idiot putting myself out there and people are thinking why is she even here her art's so shit and it's so easy to compare yourself to other people like there's like specifically i always see these amazing artists that i think are so great and they are so much further in their career like what i, what I perceive them as being further along in their career further along creatively further along in their skills um and they're younger than me and it makes me think to think why why haven't i got there yet like why like why am I struggling so much to improve when they are leaps and bounds ahead of me and they're like five years younger than me and it just kind of feels like oh maybe I'm like maybe I'm too late maybe I started too late because I um didn't really start to take my art seriously until like a couple of years ago and it just feels like I will never catch up and it's and it's just it's so wrong to feel this way because I mean, for one, the things that they are showing on their like social media, the things that I'm looking at and thinking, oh my god, they're so amazing, why, why aren't I like that? Those are their best things, those are like their polished things. You don't see their crappy sketches all the time, you don't see like all of the failed attempts that they got to where they were going to. And it shouldn't be this kind of competitive, like, oh, I'm not as good as them, I'm not as far along in my career as them. I really want to be that person that kind of that doesn't feel like they have to compete with other artists that feels like they I want to be the person that kind of can lift other artists up and feel like I am just in the same boat as them we're all on the same journey because we are and I feel like I can just um, look at them and not see this unattainable goal but see inspiration and think I have improved in the past couple of years that I've been trying to take my art seriously. I have gotten better, I have made progress, and it's not about getting to a certain goal, it's about enjoying myself. I feel like I put so much pressure on myself for trying to kind of meet these goals that I'm not enjoying my artwork anymore, and it really sucks. I come out home and I'm thinking to myself, oh, all this stuff that I haven't done, all this stuff that I need to do. And then it just makes me not want to do it. And then I just I just feel really shit about myself all the time. And when I didn't, I wasn't trying to like make it as an artist. I wasn't trying to sell my work or anything. I was just enjoying it so much more. And I was producing more art because it wasn't something that I felt like I had to do. And it's kind of ruining it for me. And lately I have been trying to get back with just, just create what you want to create. Don't worry about what other people are going to like. Don't worry about the things that you have to do, about feeling like you have to do this and have to do that. Because it's just not healthy for my creativity at all. There is just no point in looking at these artists and wondering why you are behind them when you're older than them. It just, it just, it just doesn't help you at all. Like, I don't know why I do it. I shouldn't be like measuring my success as an artist on how many followers I have or how many paintings I've sold. I shouldn't be sitting here thinking, oh, I've only sold a few paintings and this person is selling prints for thousands of pounds. Like it doesn't, it doesn't matter. The money doesn't matter at all, which is a really kind of hard thing to get out of your mind, especially if you're someone like me that, um, that works part time at a job that they really don't like, that they don't want to be at forever and you just 
think to yourself, will I ever be able to support myself with my art? So in a way it is important, but it shouldn't be my main focus. It shouldn't be the only thing I care about when I'm creating because I feel like when I'm thinking that way, when I'm in that state of mind, it does show through my art. I look back on things that I've created before and even though technically they're not at the same level, I can kind of feel that there is more of a life in it, there's more of an energy in it, there's more of a joy to it. And I look back on it more fondly, it's not me looking at my work thinking, oh this isn't good enough, no one's going to buy it. It's me looking back on it thinking, oh I really enjoyed painting this and I really felt happy with it afterwards and it, it, it was a really enjoyable experience for me. Um, I think with this kind of project that I've been doing, the mask project, um, it has given me a bit of a focus in the subject matter but it's also kind of added to the stress because I'm thinking if I do want, if I do decide that I want to go to uni which is why I want to put this portfolio together then I have to get it done by this certain day and I have to do this and I have to do that and I have to make sure I'm writing about it and I have to make sure that I am researching it properly if I want to kind of present my research because that's what I was planning to do and I'm thinking maybe I should just drop all that but I think little by little I am kind of getting back to that mindset of just do just paint what you want to paint, just paint what makes you happy, what you know you're going to enjoy painting and if you do want to practice stuff that you're not good at, that you don't necessarily like doing, it's because you want to, not because you feel like you have to. Like my day job already feels like a chore, I don't want the one thing that I actually turn to when I'm feeling shit to also feel like a chore and that's what it has kind of turned into a little bit. So right now I'm just trying to figure out like a balance between trying to further myself and trying to create more and trying to um, like promote myself and advertise myself and create myself as this, um, present myself as a professional artist and be able to make a living with my work and also not stress myself out to the point where I hate all my artwork and I don't want to do it anymore. So if you are at the point where you're starting to stress yourself out and you're starting to just see so many errors and just compare yourself to other people and like hate where you are right now, then please try and just take a breath and think about why you started doing this in the first place. Because if you're like me, you wanted to pursue a career in something creative because you wanted to work and you wanted to make a living with something that you loved and making yourself crazy about all this stuff is just doing the opposite. So I think that's um, all I have to say on the subject right now. I hope you enjoy watching the rest of this video and um, hopefully you go off and create something beautiful that you enjoy. Um, I'll see you guys later. I'm off. Bye. Thank you.